All right, Roe Flow. So I, I, I like my life, so I wouldn't change places. <laughs> I, I wouldn't change places with too many people. But I think I might want to be Xander Bogarts for a week or two. Why is that? Speak like 18 different languages, oh. Papiamento. <laughs> Good looking, playing shortstop for the Red Sox, money to burn. But and you want to look at his swing, so and we can still, dive no, into that. he he does all that, and still somehow humble. It seems like he flies under the radar. He does. I mean, you're playing in Boston, you're playing in a big market, and you still find a way to just kind of sneak past everybody to where I feel like he's one of the more underappreciated shortstops in the game. And when you think of guys, if if I were to ask you, who are the top? You know, last five years, how many guys have had OPS of 850 or higher? You would think of Aaron Judge. You would think of Mike Trout. No doubt. You may even think of Mr. Juan Soto. But a guy that you don't think about as a high, big-time OPS guy is Bogey. And you see, in each of the last five seasons, he continues to go out there, continues to do damage. He is one of the most consistent players in the game. And people think because he doesn't go out there and hit 40, 50 homers every year that he can't be a big OPS guy. But what he does is just hit 45 to 50 doubles yeah. every season. It just comes out and been continue to go out here and grind and do his thing. He's never had to change his swing, never has to change his approach. And if we can go into the video a little bit, kind of show, this is 2018 right here, and his swing every year looks exactly the same. d -Row, he's like one of those old school guys. He's, he's not, down he's not trying baseball. to lift and drive it up in the air. He's down <laughs> long, through the, long through the ball and just is out there trying to get hits. Right now with yes. humidors out there, all these balls dying at the wall, that doesn't hurt guys who hit line drive after line drive. And if you backspin one, miss it a little bit, Guess what? The wind can't catch it because it's cutting right through it, leaving the yard, and Bogey continues to do that year after year. And it's just so much fun to watch a guy, d -Row, who can stay healthy throughout the season, a guy you can count on. Sam Kennedy has some decisions to make this offseason because you know if he continues to go like he's going right now, he's opting out. But he's not opting out because he wants to leave. He's opting out because, hey, we need to re-up this deal. We need to rework, you know. He deserves to get paid. I mean, based on, on the numbers and what he's meant to that franchise, you could say guys go through peaks and valleys, but he seems to never do it. Yeah, if we could pause it right here. What I've noticed this season with, with Bogey is that he's always been a pretty good hitter off of breaking balls. 256, people think that's low on breaking balls. I think the MLB no, average is around 210, 215, whatever it may be. Bogey was already really good off the breaking ball, but this year, you can't just flip that stuff in there early in the count. And you know, a lot of times pitchers try to steal strikes, D-Row. They just try to come, off, come over the middle, throw a breaking ball in there. Mm -hmm. Bogey is still hitting that ball, driving that ball in the gaps for doubles, and he continues to be consistent. So now if we move forward and just kind of see what he does with his swing, because I know you like you like breaking down swings a little bit. I love breaking down swings. But he does a lot of what we used to. He does. This is an old school swing right here. He's super balanced in the box. Yeah, maybe he leaks forward a little bit, but then he swings against his front side. If we can go back one more time, I just want to show how long he stays through the ball. He's yes. down to the ball. You can run it. He's down to the ball, and then watch how long his hands continue to ride that line and stay out. He's working through the middle of the field with the down through the, down through the ball, line drive swing, and he never has to make any kind of adjustments from this. He worried me a little bit early in his career because he was so handsy with his swing that you felt like, ah, he, he's just going to be filling out there for the breaking ball. He's learned how to back that ball up, trust his hands, and continue to just... Run that back real quick for me because he does a lot of things that you don't realize. Leave it here. So Bogey strikes me as a guy that kind of hunts pitches, hunts counts, looking to line drive. But I want you to watch his backside on, on, on this one because this is probably a bullet up the middle the other way. And then last night, if you, he gets that spinner in the middle of the zone and he's able to clear the backside just a little bit more. His bat's in the zone. He's thinking up the middle the other way. Nope, I got count leverage and it's out in front. Watch this. He doesn't fully rotate his backside through this baseball. Kind of hits off his front side a little oh. bit and kind of just pushes it the other way for a knock. He takes chances. He's a very smart ball player. Always seems to be in the, in the right positions to make plays both offensively and defensively. But those numbers are scary. I didn't realize he was 895 OPS. With hey, those he's two. nasty. And like top five in average over the last five years. So Boston's but putting got, you guys the, on the spot, does he opt out? 
100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. He's 100%. not gone, though. He's not gone. He will be there. He will be there. Sam okay. Kennedy wants him They'll there. sign him to a new deal. Oh, yeah, for the entirety of his career. He wants right. to be there. But All as right. long as he continues to make that move right there, he doesn't mm. spin off of nothing. He's just driving down inside of the foot. I love it. Now, I, he's, a, he's a classy ball player. I mean, that's just. That's a good word for that's him, a good, Robert. That's a good way to, to describe what he does classy. for the Boston Red Sox.